Brakata Yahoa, Brakata Yahoa Shai, Brakata Yahoa, Brakata Yahoa Shai, Brakata Yahoa, Brakata Yahoa Shai. Call Halalam La Yahoa, Bahasham, Yahoa Shai, Baracha Hakurash, which means all praises to Yahoa is the name of the Heavenly Father. Bahasham means in the name, Yahoa Shai is the name of his only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Baracha Hakurash means <clears throat> in the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth. Double honesty, the apostles and elders, a great millstone. Peace, blessing, salutations to all you brothers who preaching the gospel in truth and in sincerity, always in charity. And um, let me just get straight into it. This is uh, Sirach 36 and um, 24. Yep, this is Sirach 36 and 24. It says, He that getteth a wife beginneth a possession, a help like unto himself, and a pillar of rest. You see? So right there, it lets you know that a woman is a possession, man. You know? Right there, lets you know. That's why the scriptures call uh, 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 spoils of war, call it booty, man. You know, when you read uh, 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 through the Torah, through the Torah, uh, Torah, you know, which is the first five books of Moses, man. When we was making the conquest through those different uh, 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 cities, you know, we were taking the women that spoiled, except for the Canaanites. We were commanded to kill each and every last one of them, you know. But there's different instances when we went against the Moabites, man. Uh, 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 not, not the Moabites, the Midianites, you know, where we killed, um, everything except the, uh, 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 the women that had not known men, meaning the, the women that were virgins, man, you know, but it's not the topic of this. This is, uh, Numbers 30 and 1, it says, and Moses spake unto the heads of the tribes, Concerning the children of Israel, saying, This is the thing which Yahweh hath commanded. If a man vow a vow unto Yahweh, or swear an oath to bind his soul with a bond, he shall not break his word, he shall do according to all that proceedeth out of his mouth. Right? So that's simple and plain, man. If a man make a vow, he make a promise to the Lord, then he must uh, perform that vow. Right? Verse 3. If a woman also vow a vow unto Yahweh, and bind herself by a bond, being in her father's house in her youth, and her father hear her vow, and her bond were which she hath bound her soul, and her father shall, let me read that again, Slocky. And her father hear her vow, and her bond were which she hath bound her soul, and her father shall hold his peace at her, then all her vows shall stand, and every bond were which she hath bound her soul shall stand. Right? So if the father hear his daughter making a vow, and if he and if he have no problem with that vow, and he holds his peace, meaning he doesn't say anything, well then all those vows stand, right? Verse five. But if her father disallow her in the day that he heareth, not any of her vows or her bonds wherewith she hath bound her soul shall stand, and Yahweh shall forgive her because her father disallowed her. Man. So it's letting you know that uh, uh, that daughter. She couldn't make the vow on her own. If her father heard that vow and it displeased him or if he didn't agree with that vow, he was able to disannul it. And the Lord wouldn't hold that to uh, uh, her charge because her father disannulled it, right? Being in her father's house, right? Let's keep reading. Verse 6. And if she had an all an husband when she vowed or uttered out, ordered, uttered out, out of her lips, wherewith she bound her soul, and her husband heard it, and held his peace at her in the day that he heard it, then her vow shall stand, and her bonds wherewith she bound her soul shall stand. But if her husband, so it, so just same thing as the father, if the husband heard it, and, and, and it was cool, like, okay, you know, well, then hey, he held his peace, meaning he was cool with it, he allowed it, right? But verse 8, but if her husband disallowed her on the day that he heard it, then he shall make her vow which she Vow and that which she uttered with her lips, wherewith she bound her soul of none effect, and Yahweh shall forgive her. But every vow of a widow and of her that is divorced, wherewith they have bound their soul, shall stand against her, right? A woman being a widow or being divorced. You see? But it says, verse 10, And if she vowed in her husband's house, or bound her soul by and bond with an, with an oath, and her husband heard it, and held his peace at her, and disallowed her not, then her, then all her vows shall stand, and every bond wherewith she bound her soul shall stand. But if her husband hath utterly made them void on the day he heard them, then whatsoever proceedeth out of her lips concerning her vows or concerning the bond of her soul shall not stand. Her husband hath made them void, and Yahweh shall forgive her. You see. 
So just like how the father has rule over his daughter, the, the, the husband has rule over his wife the same way, man. And this is in the law. You see? Because it says, this is Genesis 3 and 16. It says, unto the woman, he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. In sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. You see? It's just true, man. You know? So the women that's, that's hoping to be saved, guess what? You're going to have to follow these uh, 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 scriptures, man. You're going to have to fall in line. You understand? Because if not, then guess what, man? You ain't slated for salvation. You see? This is um First Peter 3 and 1. Likewise, ye, ye wives, be in subjection to your own husbands, that if any obey not the word, they also may without the word be won by the conversation of the wives. And that goes to that first Corinthians, the seventh chapter, if I'm not mistaken. It says that the unbelieving husband husband can be sanctified by the wife. How? Because he observing her conduct, man. He observes her conduct and he sees how she changed, man. And then he gets into it. You see, it says that also may may without the word be one. Right. So he starts to believe by what? By the conversation, by the conduct of the wives. While they behold, while they behold your chaste conversation coupled with fear, man. While they behold your chaste conduct coupled with fear, a woman that fears the Lord. You see. Whose adorning let it not be that outward adorning of plaiting the hair, and of wearing of gold or uh, uh, slacky of wearing of gold or of putting on of apparel, man. You see, ain't the outward adorning wearing all the goddamn makeup, man? Oh, look at my hair! Got hair done every fucking week. Earrings and gold on, and the 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 uh, 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 what what Beyonce ho ass call him the fuck him dress on. Right. Verse four. But let it be the hidden man of the heart in that which is not corruptible, even the ornament of a meek and quiet spirit, which is in the sight of the most high of great price, man. So that's what you hey, don't let your adorning be of the outward. Let your adorning be of the inner. You see, the Israelite is not one outwardly. The Israelite is one inwardly, man, is saying the same thing for the woman. But let it be the hidden man of the heart in in that which is not corruptible. Even the ornament of a meek and quiet spirit, which is in the sight of the most high of great price, man. You see? A meek and quiet woman is of great price in the eyes of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah. Verse 5. For after this manner in the old time, the holy women also who trusted in the most high adorned themselves being in subjection unto their own husbands. Even as uh, Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord, Whose daughters ye are as long as ye do well and are not afraid with any amazement. It says as long as ye do well. You are a daughter of Sarah as long as ye do well. What's doing well? Being a subjection to your own husband, man. Everything that Peter wrote from the first verse on uh, 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 to, the, uh, to the fifth verse that we just stopped at. You see? It's not going to be long and drawn out. This is um This is uh Sirach twenty six. And twenty five, a shameless woman shall be counted as a dog, right right? A bitch. But she that is shame faced will fear the Lord, man. It said we read in Peter, what? Coupled with fear, that chaste conduct coupled with fear. Verse 26, a woman that honoreth her husband shall be judged wise of all, but she that dishonoreth him in her pride shall be counted ungodly of all, man. And the scripture says uh, 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 all wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. So you're going to be counted ungodly of all, man. So you're going to be up there with Esau, Edom. You're going to be up there with two third uh, 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 Jakes who know they Israelites, man. You're going to be up there with the likes of uh, uh, Gehenna and Nate and Nasty Nick. You see? Those niggas is worse than Esau, man. 
And a woman who claimed to know the truth, a woman who claimed to be a daughter of Sarah, a woman who claimed to know she an Israelite, and disrespecting your husband, man? Disrespecting men, period. Hey. This is uh, 1 Corinthians 11. And one, be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Mashiach. Now, I praise you, brethren, that ye remember me in all things and keep the ordinances as I delivered them to you. So keep the ordinances. What's the ordinance, man? You see? Instruction. What's the Greek word? Paradosis. Says giving up, giving over, the act of giving up, surrendering yourself unto the will of the Lord. A giving over which is done by word of mouth or i.e. writing, i.e. tradition by instruction. Narrative precept. Ooh, that word precept means means a commandment. Objectively, that which is delivered, the substance of a teaching. This is a part of the doctrine of the body of precepts. <laughs> you know, it's a commandment, man. Ooh, specifically the Jewish, fuck that Jewish shit. Specifically, the traditionary law. An ordinance of tradition, man. You see? So keep the ordinances as was delivered unto you. So you claim to be a Hebrew Israelite? Then you better follow it accordingly, man. Got all the fucking nigga women on the comment board claiming to be correcting this or talking this. Hey, man. Hey, the Lord. Hey, hey. Verse 3. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Mashiach, which is Yahweh Shai. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of Mashiach, the head of Yahweh Shai, is Yahweh. You see? So it goes Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, man, woman, then child. You understand? So you ought not to usurp authority over the man as Paul wrote, man. These, these is all commandments. This is uh, 1 Timothy 2 and 12. But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence. For Adam was first formed, then Eve. And Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in the transgression. You see? That's why Sirach says, through her we all die. You understand? Notwithstanding, she shall be saved in childbearing if they continue in faith and charity and holiness with sobriety, man. You know, so the spirit was on me just to do this quick lesson, man. You know? All you, all, 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 all you Hebrew Israelite women, if you got a husband, be subject unto your husband, man. Whether he in the faith or not, be subject unto that man. You understand? Do what's right in the eyes of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And he's always going to give unto you what's, uh, uh, what's, what's, what's needful. That scripture is leaving my mind, but that's that's actual scripture, man. You do what's right by the Lord, he's going to make sure everything that's needful for you is there for you, man. You know? All praise, honor, glory be to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, Baruch HaKadosh. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone. Peace, blessings, salutations to all you brothers preaching the gospel in truth and in sincerity, always in charity. Shalom.